Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, 23rd of the March 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar today. Um, the key important data for today, as you can see, will be uh, from the uh, UK. Um, climate count change, climate count rate, average earning index. Um, those are the data who had been published at 8 o'clock. As you can see, climate count change increased dramatically from 9 to 86,000. The climate count rate uh, decreased uh, from 5.1% to 5%, so that's good. And average earnings uh, has increased from 4.7 to 4.8%, a little bit uh, under the forecast of 4.9%. Uh, percent. We uh, have a uh, uh, MPC member and the Halding speech scheduled for, uh, for 40 past nine and then uh, uh, Deputy Governor uh, John Kniffy will give a speech 5 to 11 a.m. as well. That's everything for today um, regarding the data during the London session and um, during the uh, New York session, as you can see, we got some data, uh, not that much important, but, uh, but there will be plenty of speeches. Current account uh, data from the US scheduled for release half past one. Uh, we got some leading indicators from China at 2, 2 p.m. and then we start with basically uh, with the uh, speeches. Uh, James Bullard gives a speech 2 o'clock, then New Home says data uh, 3 o'clock p.m. and then of course uh, Rich, uh, Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index uh, is scheduled for release at 3 o'clock as well. And then just the speeches Rafael Bostic, uh, uh, Jerome uh, Powell of course, the Federal Reserve uh, Chairman, um, uh, Janet Yellen uh, which is a Federal Reserve Chairperson will give a speech at 5 o'clock, uh, Lala L. Brainard, uh, 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 625, and John Williams, uh, 945, uh, they give a speech as well, and then again, Lala L. Brainard at, uh, at 845. Uh, please notice that deep in the night, uh, we will have some data from New Zealand and from Australia. Uh, we will have a, a trade balance. This is New Zealand trade balance, uh, quarter to 11 uh, p.m. And then we have a PMI manufacturing uh, data uh, from uh, Australia. So kind of a busy day, um, uh, full of speeches, especially from FOMC uh, members. So we will see if they will, uh, if they will um, uh, be considered important for the US dollar traders. But we can surely take a look at the British pound. This is the British pound uh, daily time frame chart. Uh, and and uh, as you can see, the market is kind of a following our scenario of the ABC correction to the downside. Uh, we are just looking at the 1.3809 uh, 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 technical uh, support, which is uh, intraday support as well. If this level is violated, we can um, go as low as the uh, low of the wave A. 1.3761 and then of course we have a lower channel boundary that there might be some kind of a reaction uh, from the bulls but the target for the wave c is at 1.3538 which is the 100 percent of the wave a measured from the wave b so this is the classic fibonacci extension of course we can go uh, lower than this um but the fact that um, the market would eventually break out of this channel uh, would be interesting because uh, so far, uh, as you can see, we are inside of the channel. We are trading inside of the channel just with the one recent uh, breakout to the upside, which was a false breakout, pin bar at the top, and then um, uh, the sell off, uh, of course, to the to the downside. And I think we might continue the uh, the down move, as you can see here on the RSI. Um, indicator this is the level of the 50 so the indicator is now 44 which is clearly negative uh, for the market so the, uh, the the market participants are under the uh, negative sentiment uh, and the bears basically have a control over British pound so please keep attention on this um sorry J uh, GBP J 
BY. There you go. And this is the British uh, British yen. So British pound, uh, Japanese yen, of course. Let's just um, zoom in. We're still in the we're still in the uh, in the channel. We will zoom in, and what we will see? Interesting pin bar here at the top, one one hundred fifty-two point fifty-four uh, channel. Uh, I mean, uh, channel te technical support test breakout right then the return the test and right now we are trading just below it around 150 and 26 next target 149.77 148.89 please notice this will be again close to the lower channel boundary so we might break to the downside uh, on the from the blue acceleration channel lower towards uh, the level of let's say the lows of the 26th of the February 2021 which is located at the at the level of uh, 147.39 so that's a just just a price action analysis the momentum confirms our outlook because it's is pointing down is uh, off the overbought um, uh, market conditions right now is 57 points we are uh, approaching the level of uh, 50 points which is the neutral level of course so that would be one of these levels 148.89 149.77 or even below so if we are out of the blue channel that's first indication the uptrend the the, the fast uptrend uh, strong uh, dynamic uptrend might be completed and we are doing uh, right now uh, we are we are in the cycle of a of a correction so uh, let me just uh, what is the measure measure there you go uh, price range the biggest correction I guess it was here uh, so that was uh, 2.4 percent right now uh, we already made around the same number I guess almost it's 1.57 at the time of the uh, of the analysis uh, and uh, is there any bigger one? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe, even, maybe the last one would be this one here. That's look pretty big. It's 2.5 percent, uh, right? So that's the 2.5 percent. Then 2.2 uh, percent. Right now, if we get below uh, this level, we uh, 1.4889, which is here. Right, if we get below this level, we will have almost the biggest correction in the whole cycle up here in, inside of the blue channel. So please keep an eye on the uh, British pound. And of course, uh, at the end, we will do the uh, euro to the British pound. What is going on here? Very interesting thing is going on. Please notice that we are breaking out of the channel. So the the British pound is losing its its uh, um, its steam um, pace to the downside because of course this is the the trend where the people uh, and the traders are selling euro and buying uh, buying uh, British pound right now the trend after three days of testing uh, 8,540 the trend has slightly reversed or bounced towards the level of um, 100 uh, sorry uh, 8579 which is the upper channel boundary and right now we are trading uh, higher towards the highs of the 16th of the march which are at the level of uh, 8639 there you go yes this is that high so if we break above uh, 8,639 then the next target is 8,671 and that would be kind of a significant bounce the last um, uh, nice important bounce was this one of course and that was let me just put it here 2.25% uh, so we are still waiting for the similar bounce up but the very intriguing thing is that this is the pin bar a good, very very big pin bar those are three days of tests and still 8,540 had not been violated. Instead of that, we have a failed test, bullish sandwich and bounce. So maybe this is the early indicator that the trend is, uh, is changing apparently. And maybe there is something else going on 
on the euro to the to the British uh, to the British pound as you can see the bearish divergence between the price and the uh, and the indicator is clear and right now we are at the level of 45 points so we are still in the negative territory uh, in case of the momentum but we are very close to the level of 50 the neutral level so that would be somewhere around 8671 break above this level so let me just put the blue arrow break above this level would give bulls a short-term advantage and they might penetrate even the level of 8739 or 8795 the key technical resistance are those levels here the thick red lines here 8000 8000 uh, 8,836, 8,865. Only violation of these levels would give us um, a bigger picture, a bigger view on the longer term trend, which is still, as you can see, that the main trend, the longer term trend on the euro to the British pound is still is still down. So that would be the game changer. That level would be the game changer for the uh, for the bears apparently. So. That's everything for me for today. Thank you very much for watching my analysis and I hope I see you guys tomorrow. So, bye-bye.